Jack Ryan Season 2 is over, and as expectant as fans are about Season 3, there are still some unanswered questions about the second installment's ending. While we wait for the arrival of Season 3, if there will ever be one, I've taken the time to explain the ending of Season 2. So all you have to do is sit back, relax, and watch this video to the very end. What you need to know. Through its first two seasons, Jack Ryan, which streams on Prime Video, has explored some familiar ground for CIA spy thrillers. In the first season, Tom Clancy's CIA analyst took on the issue of an Islamic extremist's puzzling financial statements, and when the action was relocated to South America for season two, Jack worked to preserve the democratic validity of a Venezuelan election, a welcome change of pace for the CIA. Jack Ryan still lacked a key component from Tom Clancy's novels and spy thrillers in general, even though both of those seasons were respectable hits for the show. In Jack Ryan season three, the nation's favorite Cold War era bad guy finally reappears, albeit in a more restrained and non-jingoistic manner. Russians, notably a few hardliners from the Soviet era who want to bring back the glory days of the USSR, are more of the villains in Jack Ryan season three than Russia itself. From assassinations to false information to an attempted nuclear attack, this season presents some of the biggest threats for John Krasinski's Jack Ryan yet. At the same time, he must work alone and cut off from his CIA handlers. Let's analyze the main plot of Jack Ryan season three, the conclusion, and what it means for Jack moving forward now that all eight episodes are streaming on Prime Video. What is Sokol? To begin with, Jack Ryan Season 3 reveals that Sokol is ostensibly the Russian word for Falcon, but in the context of the program, Sokol designates both a project and a collection of weapons to be used in that endeavor. In Episode 1, Jack Ryan and Jim Greer, a colleague of his played by Wendell Pierce, very exhaustively lay out the facts for CIA Director Elizabeth Wright. Their data indicated that Project Sokol was a Cold War initiative, started by a few hardline Soviet party members members within the USSR. The strategy was based on a real-life Soviet war exercise dubbed Seven Days to the Rhine, which simulated what would transpire if NATO and the Warsaw Pact countries engaged in combat. By creating chaos in the countries of the Eastern Bloc through assassinations and false information, the Sokol Project would essentially force the Seven Days to the Rhine game into play. Then, using this chaos as justification, it would launch an untraceable limited nuclear strike to reclaim alleged Soviet territory. The Sokol Cold device itself plays a role in the untraceable aspect of the nuclear attack. A unique bomb that could carry out this mission was the goal of the Sokol project. Jack learns that there are still supporters of the Sokol project in Russia who want to see the evil scheme realized, despite the fact that in the late 1960s and early 1970s, it was the stuff of Cold War legend. Who were Luca and Peter? Jack Ryan season three begins in 1969, with a small group of Russian military purging all of the Sokol scientists at the command of the Soviet leadership. Although it's not immediately evident who these troops are, over the course of the season, it becomes clear that many of our key characters from the present day were present at this particular time. The second in command, Luka Goncharov, took commands from his superior and is currently portrayed by James Cosmo, who also plays Jor Mormont in Game of Thrones. He subsequently gave these instructions to a team that include Peter Lebedev and Roland Antonov. Peter refused the orders because he believed in Sokol as a concept, not because he opposed the idea of killing all these scientists. He was shot by Luca and left for dead. Yet he not only lived, but went on to become an enigmatic power broker who assisted in the election of his daughter Elena Kovac as president of the Czech Republic. In the interim, Roland Antonov was promoted to captain in the Russian Navy. To launch a coup within the Russian government and implement the Sokol plan, Peter enlisted the aid of Defense Minister Alexei Petrov. Plan A was to persuade Elena to permit NATO missiles in the Czech Republic, but she turned out to be an irksome independent woman, so they moved on. And tried some other tactics to kickstart the seven days to the Rhine. How does Jack avert disaster? In season three, Jack Ryan comes to the rescue a lot, considerably more so than normal. And despite not having regular access to CIA resources for much of the season, Jack uncovers the so-called plan, earns Lucas support, takes down a number of bad guys, prevents a nuclear mishap, and then prevents yet another nuclear provocation. In the final episode, Jack spends a lot of time on that last section because it's perhaps the most crucial. Plans for Alexei and Peter changed significantly over the season. After failing at getting NATO missiles in Chechia, they try to fake a nuclear disaster there. When that doesn't work, they resort to a plan that's stunning in its elegance. They overturn the Russian government and employ a naval officer sympathetic to the coup to provoke a nuclear attack from the United States. The good news is that Jack and Luca are able to halt it using only their persuasive abilities. What remains of Luca? It appears that Luca's story ends tragically, 
Bailey. While it's true that he did a lot to make amends for his past mistakes, he did murder a room full of scientists who were only trying to accomplish what was required of them by their country. Luca writes Jack a heartfelt letter in which he assures him that the world will continue to be secure so long as there are individuals like him, who prioritize individual lives over the power and authority represented by the institutions they serve. However, just then, a grim-faced man who appears to have come to execute Luca for his crimes against Russia knocks on his door. Luca then assures his would-be killer, I will not make this difficult. What will season four of Jack Ryan focus on? If Prime Video's announcement from May 2022 is to be believed, Jack Ryan will return for a final season. Knowing that the fourth season of Jack Ryan on Prime Video would be the last changes the game significantly. There aren't many other popular American geopolitical thriller cliches for Jack Ryan to face after Islamic radicals, South American coups, and Russian idiocy from the Cold War era, but there are still plenty of places on the map to visit. Maybe this is the year that, just like in Tom Clancy's novels, a live-action version of Jack Ryan gets elected president of the United States. It's also known that Michael P. will guest star as Domingo Ding Chavez in the upcoming fourth season, and that Prime Video is working to secure a spin-off for the character. Everything we know about Jack Ryan Season 4. As the CIA's hero Jack Ryan goes on the run in Season 3, he'll return for a final season exclusively on Prime Video. Here's what we know so far about Jack Ryan Season 4. Season 2 of Jack Ryan aired three years ago and focused on Jack Ryan preventing an international incident in Venezuela and uncovering corruption in the U.S. Congress. Season 3 premiered on March 16, 2018. In addition to returning as the fifth actor to play Jack Ryan, Krasinski serves as an executive producer on the show. Previous actors include Wendell Pierce as James Greer and Michael Kelly as Mike November. In season three of Jack Ryan, Jack learns that Russia is planning to use a nuclear weapon to launch a war, which would eventually lead to the restoration of the Soviet Empire. To make matters worse, Ryan has to avoid the CIA by any means necessary. As soon as the FBI puts a red notice in Jack's file, an international manhunt is launched, leaving him with just Greer and November for protection. In the meantime, the Russian scheme develops, leading to a tense showdown with the United States that could spark World War III. Season 4 of Jack Ryan will be the last. Production on the final season of Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan was officially announced in May 2022, and the series finale was aired in May 2022. There has been a long three-year gap between the release of Jack Ryan Season 2 in 2019 and the filming of Jack Ryan Season 3. This delay was caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. In addition, John Krasinski committed to Jack Ryan for four seasons, not just as a star in EP, but also as a showrunner for the final two. The premiere of Jack Ryan Season 4 is anticipated sometime in 2023. What's going to happen in Jack Ryan Season 4? The conclusion of Season 3 of Jack Ryan established certain elements for Season 4, but provided no hints about the story or the nature of Ryan's final expedition. The fourth season will feature several of the same actors from previous seasons, including John Krasinski as Jack Ryan, Wendell Pierce as James Greer, Michael Kelly as Mike November, and Numi Rapace as Harry Bauman, a spy she plays in the second season. In addition, Abby Cornish, who plays Dr. Kathy Mueller, Jack Ryan's future wife, but hasn't been seen on the show since season one, is returning. Is there a Jack Ryan sequel coming? After the conclusion of Jack Ryan season four, the Tom Clancy brand will likely continue with a spin-off featuring Domingo Ding Chavez. Ding Chavez is the executive officer of Rainbow Six in Tom Clancy's Ryanverse. He has appeared in 22 novels set in Clancy's fictional universe, including seven of Jack Ryan's standalone adventures. Whether or not Without Remorse has any relation to the Jack Ryan series or the Ding Chavez prequel, because Michael B. Jordan played John Clark in both, is unknown. We can only hope that John Krasinski's last season as Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan is as successful as the previous three. So guys, do you think Jack Ryan season four will live up to the hype? Give us your thoughts in the comments section. And if you enjoyed watching this video, kindly give it a like and share so your friends can check it out too. Last but not least, don't don't forget to subscribe to our channel and tap the notification bell to keep getting more interesting content like this. Thanks for watching.